Cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency? How it works? Cryptocurrency blockchain. Types of cryptocurrencies. Is cryptocurrency legal? Pros and cons of cryptocurrency would all be examined and explained in this video. Sean G Academy. To help this channel grow and continue to provide valuable educational content, please consider subscribing. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that can be exchanged online for goods or services. And transactions are recorded on a digital public ledger called a blockchain, which will be explained in details later on in this video. And with cryptocurrency, every transaction is secured by cryptography, which makes it virtually impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Cryptography is the study of secure communications techniques that allow only the sender and the intended recipient of a message to view its contents. So in essence, cryptocurrency, or crypto as it's sometimes referred to, is a digital asset that is used as a medium of exchange for goods and services where the transaction and the coin ownership records are stored in a blockchain that uses cryptography to secure transaction records and to verify the transfer of coin ownership from one individual to another and also control the creation of additional coins. Crypto does not exist in physical form like paper money, only exists online as digital currency. Now, the blockchain is a digital public ledger that records cryptocurrency transactions. The ledger, to put it in simple terms, is a computerized database. The blockchain is made up of a peer-to-peer -peer network, which is a decentralized network of computers, with each computer being known as, or referred to as, a node. Each node is owned by a miner, and each of the nodes has a copy of the blockchain, or in other words, a copy of the digital ledger with all of the transactions that were done on the network. Each transaction is referred to as a block and is added to the previous transactions to form a chain, hence the name blockchain. Every node of the network must validate each transaction or block and all nodes must have matching records before the transaction is added to the blockchain. After the transaction is added to the blockchain, each miner is rewarded with a set amount of cryptocurrency for successfully validating the transaction. All transactions in the blockchain are immutable and thus cannot be deleted or modified. How does cryptocurrency works? Now we understand how the blockchain works, we can now examine how cryptocurrency uses the blockchain to execute transactions. Let's look at the use case real life scenario. Jane wants to send cryptocurrency to Tom. To get started, both Jane and Tom would have to sign up with a cryptocurrency broker such as eToro or Coinbase to obtain a digital or cryptocurrency wallet. Jane then uses cash to purchase cryptocurrency that would be stored in the wallet. Jane then creates a transaction or a block by requesting to send cryptocurrency to Tom. The requested transaction or block is then broadcasted to every computer or node in the network using cryptography. Each computer or node then validates the transaction or block. The validated transaction or block is then committed to the ledger or what is referred to as the blockchain. Each miner is then rewarded with a set amount of cryptocurrency for validating the transaction or the block. The transaction or the block is then forwarded to Tom who now receives the Bitcoin that was sent to him by Jane. It's important to note two things. One, both Jane and Tom have access to transactions on the public ledger via their respective cryptocurrency wallets. And two, Jane and Tom's identity are not linked to their digital wallet. They only access their wallet using their passcode, commonly known as a password, and receive transactions using their cryptocurrency address they received when obtaining their digital wallet. Types of cryptocurrencies. According to NordWallet, there are currently 6,700 publicly known cryptocurrencies, with the most famous ones being Ethereum, Tether, Ripple, Litecoin, Binance, and the most famous one of them all, Bitcoin, the original cryptocurrency.
and currently the most highly demanded cryptocurrency followed by Ethereum. And since Bitcoin is the original cryptocurrency, all other cryptocurrencies are referred to as alternative Bitcoin or altcoin. Is cryptocurrency legal? Cryptocurrency technology was invented in August 2008 by a person or a group of persons who uses the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto whose real identity is still unknown. Satoshi then created or mined the first ever cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, on January 3, 2009. Satoshi then executed the first ever Bitcoin transaction on January 12, 2009. Since then, many monetary regulators across the globe have struggled with how to handle the legality of cryptocurrencies. And since cryptocurrencies can be used anonymously to conduct transactions between account holders, that makes it attractive for criminal activities. Cryptocurrencies are the main payment asset for the dark web transactions. Criminals like the anonymity that is afforded to them when using cryptocurrencies. There have been notable cases where cryptocurrencies have been utilized for money laundering, drug trafficking, and other illegal activities. However, many countries are still uncertain as to how to handle the legality of cryptocurrencies. While some have imposed restrictions on their use, and others have completely outlawed them. Cryptocurrencies are legal in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Belgium, Germany, Finland, Australia, and the European Union, among other countries, whereas there are legal restrictions to cryptocurrencies in China, India, Indonesia, Zambia, Nepal, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, among other countries with the level of restrictions depending upon the specific country. And cryptocurrencies are completely outlawed in Vietnam, Pakistan, Algeria, Bolivia, Egypt, Morocco, and Bangladesh, just to name a few. This of course is at the time of making this video, but that sure can change in the future, as cryptocurrency becomes more popular. Pros and Cons of Cryptocurrency First the Pros Cryptocurrency offers secure transactions. In the crypto world, transactions are permanent and hard to fake. All transactions and identities are strictly secured despite non-identifying transaction data being public. Lower transaction fees. Cryptocurrency has low transaction costs compared to financial institutions and other digital forms of payment like PayPal. There is no central authority to collect transaction fees. Cryptocurrency is decentralized, meaning it can't be deflated or inflated due to the choices of any central government or central authority. Transparency Cryptocurrency is transparent despite its privacy features that allows anonymity. All transactions are stored on an open ledger, the blockchain. This means that the data is available to view by anyone at any time. With your identity private and transactions public, this is called being pseudo-anonymous. This security and transparency helps build trust and creates a level playing field. Now for the cons. The cryptocurrency market is extremely volatile. The value of the digital currency constantly changes rapidly over short periods of time. So cryptocurrency, when treated as an investment, one can gain or lose value very quickly. Tax complications. In many countries, including the United States, Virtual currency transactions are taxable by law, therefore taxpayer may have to report cryptocurrency transactions on their tax returns. It can be unclear as to how to report the value. Should you report based on what they were worth when you bought them, or what they were when you filed? While there are answers to these tax questions, it can be very complicated. Not widely accepted. There is definitely an appeal to transact in cryptocurrency due to the low transaction cost. However, cryptocurrency payments are not widely accepted, at least not yet. It's still only accepted by a small number of vendors. Illegal activities. Criminals lack the privacy that is afforded to them when using cryptocurrency, similar to the benefits of paying with cash. Cryptocurrencies are the main payment asset for dark web transactions. There have been notable cases where cryptocurrencies have been utilized for money laundering, drug trafficking, and other illegal activities. 
With crypto, there is no loss recovery. There is no way to recover crypto coins if they are lost and there is no system in place to protect the value of your coin. So why the craze for crypto? Potential riches. The value of many cryptocurrencies have risen to unbelievable levels over the years. So many people think that the value of crypto will continue to rise in the future and they'll become abundantly rich. But that still remains to be seen as the leading cryptocurrencies remain highly volatile as demand and supply keeps fluctuating rapidly. No one currently knows what will eventually be the true stable value of each currency. The next thing driving the crypto craze is anonymity. Many people like the idea of anonymous transactions, especially those with unlawful intent since cryptocurrencies do not link any individual identity to transactions. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. And for more educational content like this and to help this channel grow, please consider subscribing. You can also click the bell to get notified when new content is posted.